Hey everybody, welcome back! We're gonna look at some wedding guests that tried to steal the spotlight. Let's get into the tea! This is how people snuck into our wedding and ate $700 worth of dinner. First off, we did have security there for reasons like this slash just if people tried to come who weren't invited and we paid him $1,000 to basically do absolutely nothing. I gave them a full guest list of everybody that was gonna be there and I told them to mark off names and obviously that never happened. So the ceremony happens, cocktail hour happens, and now we're going to the reception after all of our bridal party and Ryan and I's entrance. And they're starting to serve Ryan and I's food. So we go and we sit down and I look up and I see these two girls walking towards a table of two empty seats and basically along the lines of asking the people at that table if anybody's sitting there. What? So when I saw them, I tapped Ryan and I was like, we don't know those girls. I was like, I know for a fact that We've never seen them before. Why are they here? Period. Why are they there? And also, like, were they dressed to go to a wedding? Small piece of confusion there. Maybe they're professional wedding crashers, kind of like the movie. You better lock it up. You better lock it up. No, you lock it up. You lock it up. Lock it up. Lock it up. I think that would be easier to do with like a big wedding, small ones, not so much. Basically just told me it's not a big deal. Maybe somebody just brought plus ones and no, it is a big deal. asking, just let's not make it a big deal. So I was like, okay, whatever. I just want to enjoy my freaking meal. By the way, we had steak and lobster tail. We decided to upgrade the dinner because we wanted to have a really nice dinner that was really yummy. And so with that upgrade, it was $350 per Whoa. plate, which was fine for everybody who was actually invited. So anyways, we eat. They eat and about an hour and a half goes by and actually a family member ended up coming up to Ryan and I and basically telling us that they watch us and that they've been basically watching every single thing that we've been doing for the past week and knew everybody that was at our batch week trip. The reason why I know that they didn't cross off any of the names off the guest list is because those two girls used two names that they knew were gonna be at the wedding that were on our batch trip. So used two fake names, came in, really, ate dinner, sat down. Like, they were fully dressed up in dress and heels and everything. What? As soon as Ryan found out, he had to go get the security and go get them escorted out. Then I go change into my second look. I'm waiting for my entrance song to come on. And I see the security guard walking the two girls out and she tries to stop and explain herself to me. Whenever explain I was what? like, I'm not dealing with this, but you know what she did was weird. And my maid of honor was standing next to me and she just had a conversation with her. And the craziest part is the fact that Ryan and I actually knew who she was and she went and blocked the both of us on Instagram so we couldn't message her afterwards. We had two more groups after that get in, and Ryan actually had to go tell the security guard to escort them out. Like, what? what are you even here for? But hey, at least they enjoyed themselves some steak and lobster, because that shit was... Girl, I'm sorry, are you famous or something? Or did she just follow you on social media and knew where your wedding was? Like, I don't get it. How did they know? And also kudos to you for actually upgrading and getting a good meal. Cause like I've said this before, I'll say it again. Wedding food is disgusting. My brother is downstairs working and um, he's never heard me film a video before and he's in for a treat. He's in for a treat. <laughs> $350 a plate, is that for real? I didn't even know that like, it could be that much. But like, you know what? You live once, it's your wedding, and if you wanna have steak and lobster at your wedding, you can have steak and lobster. If you could have one meal at your wedding, what would it be? Honestly, yeah, steak's up there, steak's up there. Really good for laming your wagyu. Maybe some oysters to cleanse the palate as an appetizer. I genuinely do not understand how fans just show up to important life events. Like remember those fans that went to the Dolan Twins dad's funeral? Yes, okay, so they were fans. If you're a fan of a creator, don't do this. Going to someone's wedding uninvited and then eating a bunch of their food that you didn't pay for is like, that's a no-no. It's gonna be a no from me, dog. That's gonna be a no from me.
I'm having a little too much fun with this thing. Who remembers this from back in the day? In my 500 square foot condo, a naked man. Who remembers naked man? If you don't know who naked man is, someone else will tell you in the comments. More like naked man's multiple. Something horrific happened at my wedding. What happened, babe? This is incredibly epic. Amazing. We really appreciate you all making the trip and we're excited to dance the night away with you. So with that, we are going to do a toast. Oh no! Was this on purpose? Tell me this was on purpose. Tell me you're gonna break into song and dance. Security get her up. Sorry, you guys. Just one minute. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Oh, she drunk drunk. Wait, that wasn't a skit? That wasn't a skit? Please tell me this is a skit. Oh, girl. Uh, it, it wasn't. Did anyone else like half expect her to just rip off the dress and like have like a sexy outfit, like her outfit number two underneath and just start breaking into song and dance with her new husband? Just me? Have I seen too many musicals? Probably. God, I'm so dramatic. <laughs> Okay, but I'm sorry, this girl is hella drunk. But to be fair, this is what happens when there's too much time between cocktail hour and dinner. <laughs> At least have some bread out, you know? Like nice little charcuts, charcut tree board so that they can layer the stomach between the alcohol and the stomach and the stomach lining. Just something, just something. Not the bride's fault, but can confirm it is very easy to get this drunk at a wedding. And now your wedding dress is ruined. Ugh. Oh my God, I absolutely love this girl. I don't normally show like sketches on this channel, but like <laughs> I have to show you this. I have to, it's so funny. Who is that girl? She is wearing white. Everyone knows you don't wear white, only the bride. <laughs> Some people, some people are so inconsiderate. Everything about them. I have to say something. I have to say something. Hi, I love your dress. Congratulations on the wedding. Oh, you're not the bride? Sorry, I thought you were the bride. You look like the bride. Are you wearing the dress to the reception? Ah, oh, you are? Okay. Are you sure you don't want to wear the wedding dress that the bride is wearing? It really do be like that sometimes. It do be like that. Cause if you do be wearing white to a wedding, you gotta have the little passive aggressive kind of like showdown. Just make them feel like super uncomfortable about it. I don't see the problem in wearing white at a wedding. Neither does Queen Elizabeth, but. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of goes without saying now. We've been through this. It's been years. If anyone is single-handedly fighting the fight against wearing white to a wedding, it is I. Everyone needs a cause in life. And mine is calling people out that wear white to weddings, including Queen Elizabeth, rest in peace. But also she wore it to Camilla's wedding and I kind of feel like that was on purpose. <laughs> Normalize wearing white dresses for weddings. Just white, not a bride's dress. No, I will die on this hill. <laughs> this is a hill I am willing to die on. What I say is, I am the ruler of everything. I make the rules. <laughs> you gotta get out of my mama's way. What is wrong with you? Something here? Something here? I don't know. Something here? And obey him? Anthony, you thought you were gonna fuck you don't know me, but you didn't take your safe meds today. And you got all my heart. And I got two babies here. Anthony, I know you're here. Uh Anthony, come get your number two. <laughs> okay, but this is like not not how we go about this. Like we don't show up to somebody else's wedding and start yelling. Let's not do that. Like in the middle of the vows, like come on. Shaming a wedding guest. A friend was so mad she wasn't my maid of honor that she was rude to me and my guests all wedding weekend and tried to make my wedding all about her. Honestly, this is why I almost feel like it's better to not have like bridesmaids or like a wedding party. I just feel like you're gonna offend somebody. And clearly she wasn't that good of a friend if that's how she behaved. It's so high school. No, it's not even high school. It's like kindergarten. I got me my 
Right after I got engaged, one friend, we'll call her Linda, congratulated us on Facebook and commented that she couldn't wait to be my maid of honor. Okay, that's an odd thing to assume when you haven't been asked. I have no idea why she assumed she would be the maid of honor. We had previously been very close, but I had moved several years earlier and we naturally drifted. After Linda made that comment, I knew I needed to clear things up with her. I called her and let her know that I had chosen my best friend to be my maid of honor and I was sorry if there was any confusion. She claimed that she understood and was still excited for the wedding. As the date got closer, she would ask questions about plans and seem genuinely interested and excited, so I assumed everything was fine. I had a destination wedding, and most people were flying in for a long weekend. My maid of honor came early to help with some stuff, along with my mom and sister-in-law. When Linda arrived, she was angry to find out that we had been, quote, having fun without her. Well, was she in the wedding party? No? Like, you didn't even have her in the wedding party at all? I mean, to be fair, if you want to be considered someone's maid of honor, I think that you really need to be an active person in that person's life. Let's not assume that we're besties with people if we're not keeping in touch and we're just like, it happens, you move away, you know, friend groups change, people drift. Let's not be assuming that we're besties when we're not and then get offended when we aren't treated like a bestie. She complained that she was being left out and mistreated. Linda has always been a bit self-centered and dramatic, so I just ignored her. Could also be why you guys drifted apart. Just saying. Later that day was the rehearsal dinner, which we invited every guest to since it was a destination. Linda spent the entire time asking all the guests when they arrived and how much time they'd gotten with me and mentioning that she's been excluded from friend time. Oh, Linda's being a messy I see. <laughs> like she was probably genuinely hurt by this, but like, it's not about you. This is not your wedding. Chill out, Linda. Relax. Like I can see why you were excluded from friend time. I can. <laughs> Everyone was kind of confused as most guests had never met her before. Interesting. Several guests asked me about it and even more of them asked my mom what was up. I didn't have time to deal with her so I just ignored it. That night my maid of honor was staying over in my suite so I invited Linda and three other friends over for drinks and girl time. I hoped this would appease Linda because she would feel included. Oh god, it's it, the people pleasing like even on the wedding day like you know people do get offended like I will be honest I've been offended when I wasn't you know considered like a bridesmaid or maid of honor but you know you let it go. It's not that big of a deal. It's not. In Instead, she spent time complaining that she should have been the maid of honor, should have been invited to come early, and that maid of honor was not even a long-term friend like Linda. Oh, I'm kind of seeing why, to be honest. I pulled her aside and let her know that she was being rude. I said that she was important to me, but I had chosen the maid of honor because we were very close and she's also a good friend with my now husband. She left right after we talked. I get being hurt by this, especially when she considered this bride her friend, but like a wedding is not a time and a place to like bring something like this up, you know? It's rude. You're making it about you. You're making it about you, Linda. On the wedding day, I didn't see Linda until the ceremony. At the ceremony, she sat in the back alone. Not a peep, which was good. The reception started, dinner was calm, and then dancing. Linda started crying uh? loudly during our first dance. <laughs> what? Another friend of mine went over to comfort her. Like happy crying or... After formal dances, I went over to talk with her and she continued to loudly sob. How dare you make this wedding about you? She said that she had no role in my wedding and I left her out of everything and she couldn't believe I would plan a dance with my husband, dad and wedding party, but not with her. Wasn't she just as important as my husband? Absolutely not. No, you're not, Linda. No, you're not. Answer, no. <laughs> no, you're not. Finally, I was just fed up with the attention-seeking behavior, so I told her to stop whining and leave me and my guests alone. Luckily, she left the room soon after. She didn't show up for the farewell breakfast the next morning. It's been a couple years now and I haven't spoken to Linda since that night. The good news is that despite her behavior, my wedding was amazing and I married to my favorite person in the world. And also, my maid of honor is still my closest friend. Right, because you chose a maid of honor that puts your needs above her own at least on your wedding day. At the end of the day, your friend is getting married. It's about what they need and what they want. And even though it might make you a little bit uncomfortable, it's their wedding. Shut up, Linda. Shut up, Linda. I've been thinking about how to spill the tea on this one, but I decided spill I it. can't name names because these two bees um, are attached to people that I love. And so, could just would create more drama but like 
just you know from the start of the wedding weekend like when we had our uh welcome party these two girls would like walk past me going to the bar to grab a drink like literally look at me and like not say hello or anything this happened at the full welcome party um not one like you know thanks for having us thanks for the invite or i'm having a great time or nothing or like hi congratulations nothing uh then on the wedding day same thing like you know everyone at some point comes and hugs you and says congratulations like, they do you know, they and should i even like would run into them in the dance floor and they would just like walk away or like walk past me wait one second do they know your husband are they friends with your husband friends with your husband just guessing um ran into them at the bar and just sort of like ordering drinks and like i did not exist so really rude and then i don't know i also didn't get a gift from them even though at least one of them i sent them a very expensive gift for their wedding a couple of years back okay but, um Mainly, I just wanted to do this video for other brides because, you know, on your wedding weekend, there will be people who are act weird towards you. Uh, I don't know if it's like jealousy or they're just really not happy for you and the person that you're marrying. Um, but really, don't let that bother you. Like, you're of course going to notice it, but just like brush it up for the day, for the weekend. Don't let it ruin uh, those special moments. Once the wedding's over, you can talk all you want to all your friends, to all your family, <laughs> you know, but really just don't let it bother you. I think it's horrible that people act that way, especially when you're inviting them to the most important event of your lifetime and screw them, honestly. And if you're watching this, like I noticed that you were being rude and I'm glad you had a great time at my wedding because that just means I won. <laughs> good point sis good point i don't know there's something going on there there's something going on there to me it sounds like they're jealous they had a thing for your husband or something yeah like why would you go to a wedding of someone that you don't like if it wasn't to purposefully make them a little bit uncomfortable which is like super sadistic and weird there should always be a moment especially when you're invited to a wedding that wedding is expensive it's a big wedding they probably paid for all the food all the drinks for you if you're a guest at somebody's wedding that is probably like easily a hundred to two hundred dollars per guest to have them eat and drink and you don't say hi to the bride you don't say hi to the groom you're rude to them you ignore them you don't get them a gift honey how are you not embarrassed subscribe